Greetings and salutations. It is Friday, June 26th, and I have a list. And we're gonna talk 6.2 because oh, no idea I had no idea when it was coming out, and then we turned it on our phones Wednesday when we got back to port in Vancouver, and it's like, oh hey, what? 6.2 is out? Why? And I have to wait a whole day to play it? What? Not fair. So I was very excited. And let's see, are we on? Yay! Okay, so 6.2 was pretty big. Uh, it's a, you know, big major patch. That's kind of a given. So let's talk about what's new and exciting with 6.2. Why did I go this way? Oh, well, that's okay. So 6.2 brought in a whole bunch of fun, exciting stuff, uh, starting with a whole new zone to non-jungle. Um, to non-jungle is this, and I have actually explored it all, kind of. There's a couple zones I've missed, actually, but basically I've explored it all so you can get an idea. Why? Why are you doing this? Why? Anyway, you can get an idea of what it looks like. Um, well, actually, I don't know. You can't quite see the whole thing, but generally that's what the map looks like. There's not much covering up where my face is right now. Um, so it is the new zone in Draenor. And Draenor? Draenor. Draenor. Um, essentially, it's the Timeless Isle for this expansion. Um, you will get tokens for gear pieces that are 650. They can upgrade to 675, and then you can buy upgrading things to you can buy upgrading bits with the Pexus Crystals or money, I think it's just the Pexus Crystals, um, to upgrade, <coughs> excuse me, to upgrade the English, I speak it, to upgrade the pieces to 690. So it works like the Timeless Isle tokens did um, in Miss of Pandaria. Um, there are three new rep rep reputations, I will speak English eventually on this video, I promise. There are three new reputations in, okay, he's up. Uh, and Draenor, and they are the Saber Stalkers. And the Saber Stalkers you will find in Fangrila, and they have a bunch of cats. They're cat people. They're pretty awesome. Um, and there are a whole bunch of cat people that you have to beat. Um, and you fight them, and they drop claws, and you use the claws to buy as tokens, and you use them to buy gear and various things, well not gear, but various things from the faction vendor. They have a pet, two mounts, and a follower. Um, that was really loud. I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry. Um, I will get to the pet later because uh, pets! All the pets this expansion. Um, the next vendor is Order of the Awakened, and you will find their vendor in your main city. Alliance, your main little hub in Tanan is Lion's Watch Horde. I believe yours is Volmar. Um, the Order of Awakened are the Air is the new Apexis Arakoa vendor faction, essentially. Um, they will sell the upgrades for those tokens that we talked about. Um, they sell a mount, a follower, a toy, a pet, and a ship. We'll get to ships in a minute. Uh, Hand of the Prophet, or Vol'jin's Headhunters, uh, depending on your alliance or horde respectively, are another faction, and the last one that you have that uh, appeared with 6.2. They sell two followers for you unlock them when you hit various reputation levels with them. Two ships, a follower, two pieces of equipment for your ships, a toy, a transmog, and a mount. Um, so that is it for factions. Relatively relatively simple. Um, the Saber Stalkers, I think, are my favorite. They're just little cat people. They're awesome. Um, uh, the dailies that you will find in your garrison um, and on the table, and you get to choose between two. It's the assault ones. There's an achievement for it. There's one of those as well in your essentially little house in uh, Lion's Watch of Omar. And you will have a choice between two again. There are seven total, but the difference is you can go there and do the bonus objective. I think, actually, I, know, I think you can do that in regular. I don't know, I never do them, so I'm not entirely sure. But you can go and do all of the seven zones um, and get a bonus objective. And there is a daily to do two additional ones beside the other one, besides the one, the daily that you do. Um, and you'll get money, and I think you get garrison resources or oil or Pexus crystals or anything like that. Um, and so those are around. You will get lots of Pexus crystals from these. It works just like the regular assaults, and there's seven um, from the rest of Draenor, and there are seven. So that's a thing. Um, the new pets. So there are uh, 12 new pets that are obtainable with this patch. Uh, there are four ones that you get in the wild. Let's close the map. Pet journal. It's not a jungle. So the four new ones. Some of them are old, and you will they you will notice that a lot of them are ones that you can get from English. I speak it occasionally. The ones that you can get from uh, Outland and the elsewhere as well. So they are the Violet Firefly, which I still have not managed to get. Kind of looks like the uh, tiny flame fly that you get in Burning Steps or Sharing Lodge. I can't remember which one. 
um, the fen crab, just another crab-like being, uh, the cerulean moth, which is very pretty, I'm quite a big fan of this one, and blood beak, which looks like the jungle thing that is in, I think, I believe, Gorgrind. Um, you get four from Legendary Pet Battles. So there are 15 Legendary Pets all over uh, Tanon. I don't, stop it, I don't have them on here. Um, there's a new Pet Battle Tamer, but there are, not, no, sorry, not a new Pet Battle Tamer. They're around, and I don't, unfortunately, have them marked on here, and I don't know why, um, but you can find them on Wowhead. Um, there are 15 total, like I said, and each of them, has a chance, we'll drop a bag when you defeat them. You don't actually have to do a quest, you just have to defeat them and you'll get a bag in your inventory. And uh, they have, it has a chance to drop the Nightmare Bell, which is a magic pet. So yeah, Fell Touched Pet Supplies is how you get it. Um, where are we here? The Periwinkle Calf, which I thought was just adorable. Uh, the Seaborn Spore and the Zangar Spore. Um, the bags also have a chance to drop the Fell Touched Battle Training Stone, which works like the other tra Battle Training Stones, but it awards five levels to a pet instead of just one, which is very exciting. Um, there are two pets that you'll get from Reputations, like I talked about. Uh, the Savage Cub, I have Cup on my list. The Savage Cub comes from getting revered with the Saber Stalkers, and the Blazing Firehawk requires Exalted with Order of the Awakened. And the Savage Cub requires Claws, and the Blazing Firehawk requires Red Sister Stills to get. Sorry, it is very hot in my house right now. It's like 26 in my house. What the hell? Okay, and the last two in Tanan come from quests and kills. So when you complete all parts of the 6.2 garrison campaign uh, quest line that came out, uh, you will get access to an area where there is a shard and you click on it and you get the pet from it. And it drops. Uh, I think I know, I think I know, I think I know. It's one of these. This is it. So you need to do campaign number six, quest part. So you glue the shard and you get the pet. Um, the other one is Fell Pup, and you need to kill, there's a rare here somewhere. Do you think I know where he is? I should have looked this up before I did this video, but you guys are used to me by now. I think he's over here. Probably isn't, because I'm crazy. Anyway, you kill him. You kill this guy that I'm about to find for you. And then, he, oh, here he is. Okay, so once he dies, there's this little abandoned fill pup shows up, and you click on him, you get the quest, and he gets like an immediate turn, and you get it. So that's pretty much it for that. Um, there is a new uh, resource as well. It kind of is the new Savage Blood. It is called Fell Blight, and it is found from gathering professions, so herbalism, skinning, mining, but it is also found through fishing. So if you, like me, do not have gathering on a character, and you don't really want to go to all the other, you don't want to go on all your alts and have to like try and mail them and whatnot. Uh, you could just go and get it from fishing. So that is my plan. I'm just going to find a, hopefully find a quiet spot in Tanan and just fish for it. And the, oh, oh, hello, what are you? Hold up. Oh, complete. Okay, sure. We'll get to the events in a minute. Um, also, there is a vendor, Tiffy Trap Spring that sells a whole bunch of pets for pet charms now. So there's a, to there's a couple toys. We've got a Bloodthorn Hatchling, we've got an Indestructible Bone, which is a pet that gives your perky pug a bone. Uh, we've got a Dusty, you know what, let's actually just look this up. What is her name? Tiffy, okay, so she sells the Bloodthorn Hatchling, the Dusty Sporewing, okay, and sorry, and Horde, it is uh, Giada Goldleash, uh, the Glowing Spore Bat, and the Lost Nether Pup, which is pretty freaking adorable. And then she also sells two toys, not toffee. No. Okay, indestructible bone is the one and it gives your perky pug a bone. And then the other one, no, I didn't want to do that going, is the magical pet mirror, which turns you into whatever pet you have out, which is kind of amazing. I saw someone as, um, uh, which one was it? This one, I think. This one or this 
Whoa, no, it was this one. Someone was floating around a town as this pet, and I just went, oh my gosh, that was amazing. So that's a thing that happens. Um, so there's that for pets. Now, you can get flying in Draenor now. Kind of. It's coming in a later patch. But, so let's go to, I think it's under Explore and Draenor. Draenor, sorry, I know I always call it the wrong thing. Okay, the quest is called Draenor Pathfinder. So you need to complete five different metas on their own. So you need to explore the original six regions of Draenor. You need to get Loremaster of Draenor, which means you have to complete the main quest line in all five of the other zones. Um, you need to do Master Treasure Hunters. You need to discover a hundred treasures in Draenor, and it, they cannot be the ones in Tanan Jungle. Uh, you need to do all of the bonus objective quests, the dailies, uh, in the original zones in Draenor. And you also need to get revered with the three new factions. So that's a thing. So obviously mine says uh, Hand of the Prophet, Horde, yours will say Vulgen's Headhunters. And then, Draenor Flying is coming in an upcoming patch. You, are get, you get a mount and then you will unlock flying when it becomes available, which is very exciting. Now, uh, there is, while we get to the uh, really new exciting part that I am quite stoked about, we're going to head there. I'm going to tell you about the other new stuff. There is a new raid called Hellfire Citadel. There are mythic dungeons again, which will be interesting. And there are bonus events. So right now, you saw I grabbed a quest. Um, every Friday to Tuesday, so basically Friday to Monday, there is a new event. And it changes. Um, Every time there are seven that it rotates, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm sorry, there are six that it rotates through. Um, so there is the time walking, which is happening right now. So you, some of the Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King dungeons, um, not all of them, there's only like five or six from each, uh, they, you queue up for them like you would for a regular dungeon, that is not what I wanted to do. Ta where are we? Random time walking dungeon and we, this is Burning Crusade. So, Time Walking sends you back to lower level dungeons. It scales your character's power down, but the bosses drop loot. Old loot, so old content loot that is scaled up to our current level, which is amazing. So that's the thing that's happening right now. The other ones, we've got uh, Draenor Dungeons. So the Draenor Dungeons will reward experience for an appropriate faction for that dungeon. Uh, the Battleground one, here. Let's go back. No, forward. The battleground one. Uh, triple honor points are awarded as well as with the arena run. And a Pexus event. Uh, creatures that drop a Pexus shard, a Pexus crystals will drop triple the amount. The pet battle one, which is happening. Oh, I missed it. I'm so sorry. I missed it. Um, gives triple pet experience from battles. I do believe it works with the daily ones as well, but if you go out into the world and level your pets, you'll get triple experience. And each event has a quest. As you can see, I just dropped one. I just picked up one. I need to complete five, and it will give me a seal of inevitable fate, which is the new seal, uh, which is something I was going to talk about, because our old seals were called... That is not what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. Uh, seal of temper fate. And so now they are seals of inevitable fate, and you can use them to roll for... You do use them for additional rolls in Hellfire Citadel or Mythic Dungeons. The old ones are for High Mall or Black Rock Foundry. So yeah, that's the thing. Um, the pet battle one rewards a uh, the perp the epic stones that give grant a character up to level twenty five. I don't think it's rare. I think it just gets you to level twenty five. And the uh, arena and battleground ones award you, I believe, conquest points, five hundred conquest points that do not count towards your weekly cap. Um, the rest of them award. I don't know what the rest of them award, but. Um, Look, I think I have, I think I still have the page open. Uh, no, I do not. Okay, I lied, but it's all online. And that is pretty much it for that. So now we come to the shipyard with naval missions. So, uh, the shipyard is not entirely instance. I don't think if you're in a party, you show up at the same time, but it works like garrison missions. You build ships over here. I don't have any ships to build right now, so I can't show you, but you can see I have some ships here. You can have five ships total right now. Um, you can get upgrades for them for finding. You get equipment for them that you find the plans all around Draenor. So this is seen in the Iron Docks. This was seen on the coast of Tanan Jungle. This is at the Throne of Kill Jaden. This is near the Iron Docks. This is during the Holder. This is near the Fellforge. 
uh, this is in Hellfire Citadel, this is from a vendor into Non Jungle. Um, this is the one that comes off of. These are the ones that come off of um, Hand of Hand of the Prophet or Visions Headhunters. So you go over here and you talk to this guy to build ships, and you can build as many of the ones that you have access to that you like. I can build a destroyer or a transport right now. I built two of each right now just to kind of get some quests going. Um, the battleship is coming up next, and I don't have honored with Hand of the Prophet yet to get it, so I'm kind of miffed about that. But it works just like regular missions, except that instead of followers, you have ships. So I completed a mission, and I get rewards. I got extra XP. So I can f do any of these. You can see they kind of check off which ones you can do. So I can do this one. They want me to do this. And they want me to do this. There we go, 100% start mission. And they get me, they cost oil to do, but you get oil from quests and dailies and you can find them in big stockpiles around Tanon Jungle. Um, the shipyard requires a level three garrison to unlock. But other than that, it's just a really little fun zone. You have to go and find a guy who used to work for the Iron Horde and he got taken and it's just, it, there's a little scenario that takes place in the Iron Dogs dungeon and it's really fun. Um, I don't want to give too many spoilers for the quests because the quests are pretty cool. There's some pretty interesting things that are happening. Um, yeah, it's a good time. So I hope you found that informative and maybe slightly amusing because Lord knows I am so scatterbrained right now, but that is it for today. Um, again, I hope you found that helpful, and tomorrow you will have a menagerie video. We are coming up on the ends of those, and Sunday I will talk about my trip, and then Monday we're going to start a new series, so that is exciting. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.